That's interesting. How much could reduced meat eating contribute to carbon savings? Together with the Free University Amsterdam, the Nicholas G. Pearson Foundation set out to discover what kind of carbon savings could be made in the US if they all went without meat for one or more days. And this is the result. If all Americans ate vegetarian for seven days, they would save around 700 megatons of greenhouse gas emissions. That would be just the same as taking all the cars in America off the roads. Every single car. If everyone in America didn't eat meat for six days a week, this would make the same carbon savings as eliminating the total electricity use of all households in the States. This would result in carbon savings equivalent to planting 13 billion trees in your garden and letting them grow for 10 years. That's 43 trees for every American. This would result in carbon savings equivalent to halving the domestic use of all electricity, gas, oil, petroleum and kerosene in the United States. If all Americans cut out meat for three days, they would save almost 300 megatons of greenhouse gas emissions. This would have a greater impact on reducing global warming than if all cars in the US were replaced with Toyota Priuses. This would have the same positive effect on reducing greenhouse gases as replacing all household appliances like fridges, freezers, microwave ovens, dishwashers, washing machines, tumble dryers, and so on and so forth. And I mean replacing all appliances with energy efficient ones. Wouldn't that be great? What do you think? Would cutting out meat for just one day really have any effect? Well, I was flabbergasted with the result. If all Americans didn't eat meat for just one day a week, this would save 90 million plane tickets from New York to LA or from LA to New York. 90 million tickets each year just by eating no meat for just one day a week. You see, 